we're excited to share a new FISL feature with you, Student Response Details. With Student Response Details, you can now see a student's answer selections. To review Student Response Details, from the Students dropdown in the main menu, select a student's name. From the data tracking on the toolbar, click the orange Detailed Report arrow. You can then filter the report criteria as you'd like. I'll select this student's Prepositions Goal and Objective tag, which is the custom tag I created when I was assigning the lessons. Then click Submit. Under the Lesson Details, by default, it lists the oldest lesson play data based on my date range. I'll click on the Start Time column header to switch to displaying the most recent data first. Starting with lessons played on November 16, 2021 or later, you can now click the lesson title to see the student response details. The thumbnails at the bottom offer a quick way to see whether a matching page was answered correctly or incorrectly. You can click on a thumbnail to navigate to that page where you can see which answer cards were submitted. You'll know which page you're on because the corresponding thumbnail is now highlighted orange. Those answer cards without an X or a check mark were not selected by the student. Clicking the Exit Lesson button will bring you back to the student's detailed report page. Now switching to a sorting activity, you'll see a green check mark for responses that were sorted correctly on the first attempt and a red X for responses that were not sorted correctly on the first attempt. This feature is available for lessons even if the student didn't complete the lesson. And for now, the feature is not available for our game template or with book hotspots. If you have any questions, use our in-app chat to ask a member of our support team. Happy visiting.